All right, what's up guys? So welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna be recording Demonfall and we're going to be making a starter guide for you guys so that you guys can, you know, learn the basics and not get too confused when the game first comes out. Cause by the time you're watching this, the game is either just about to come out or already out. So basically in this video, we're gonna be covering a lot of things. We're gonna be covering game passes, clans, uh, skill tree, how to progress and just all that. So stay tuned and hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so when you first load into Demonfall, you will be granted with a, uh, I guess, starting screen. And basically, you're going to be creating your character. So first thing I would advise you guys to do is that you guys, I think you guys should have around three spins. So you guys want to spin and try to get a rare clan. So honestly, any rare clan will do because all the rare clans are pretty good. They have their own unique buffs. So if you have Robux, keep spinning for any clan you'd like. Um, Honestly, you guys should know uh, what the clans do already. I'll have a video on the top right corner for a clan tier list. It's pretty old, but it should do the trick. So yeah, basically any rare clan will do. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up some background footage of me when I was streaming. Basically what you wanna do when you first start off the game is you wanna keep going and kill that demon. So the demon that you're presented with, either you have two options. If you wanna become a demon, you, you're gonna let that demon kill you. But if you want to become a slayer, of course, you're going to go slay that demon. Um, that's the two options. There's no way around it to become a demon. If you actually um, if you didn't know and you already killed that demon and already progressed, you're, there's no way of becoming a demon unless you start a new history in the starting screen and just restart the game, basically. So after you've chosen your respective, I guess, uh, race, either slayer or demon, um uh, this guide is gonna be mainly for slayers because for demons um i don't have a demon account so i can't really show you guys but i'll advise you guys to go check out my demon progression series um and just search up on youtube and you guys should be able to see some demon guides so but for now this is for slayers so slayers what you want to do is come over here to the lady soup shack you know talk to her she's basically just going to tell you that you need to get her breathing and you need to go get um final selection finished how i'm going to advise you guys to go about this is basically go get her breathing first if you guys don't know the locations for um breathings i'll have it linked on the top right corner of the screen but just go choose a breathing and do the quest is really not too difficult to do it and get your first skill because you get it for free after you've done the um after you've done the i guess quest for your respective trainer so try to get your breathing and after you get your breathing hit up final selection and you guys should be good if you guys don't know where final selection is i'll actually bring you guys there real quick so what you want to do is just fast travel you should have around 100 yen if you don't just go to trinket farm and you should be good so come to akuya um i can get you anywhere for 100 yen so go to akuya and then do final selection and of course after your final selection you will be at slayer uh, corpse so i'll meet you guys there in a second but let me bring you guys to final selection first so let me see where's final selection corpse grove secure passage yeah secure passage is where final selection is so let me just bring you guys there real quick just in case you guys do not know and let's see do you want to accept this mission nah okay th so those are crow quests that's another thing crow quests that's what you're going to be farming after you do final selection and um honestly in final selection you guys should be pretty set if you guys have a breathing while you guys are farming final selection i highly recommend that you guys save the blue demon for last because um it's your choice if you want to do a blue demon but definitely save it for last make sure you've uh, done at least 29 demons and um if you guys want to do a blue demon quest which is optional you guys can do it if you guys don't then you don't have to do it because it's optional um i don't do it because i don't think it gives that much of an exp boost but uh yeah let's keep heading over to final selection and you just want to keep following this path and um yeah final selection is pretty close another tip for final selection is to basically try to get demons one by one try not to kill them like um in groups because when they're in groups they can kind of you know like melt your health down if they get one hit in like it's gonna be a guarantee like two combos on you so definitely try to you know kill them one by one and not get too greedy when you're trying to fight demons and okay let's do this so we're just about here yeah just climb up this mountain okay it's pretty far but yeah selection exam a dangerous secure passage uh a dangerous secure forest imprisoned by demons so right here you just talk to these girls you can do it in a party if you'd like or solo it's definitely solo both so yeah just talk to these people and you should be tp to final selection 
Okay, so once you complete file selection, you should be teleported here. And I almost forgot to mention that before file selection, you have a choice to get some food so that in file selection, you can just like eat up some food and you can heal quicker, but it's definitely not necessary, but definitely very helpful. So you guys can do that. And also the skill tree. So when you guys are doing file selection, you guys should level up a little bit. So I would honestly recommend putting more points into like your strength and I should be putting more into strength and agility, but yeah, basically that's my recommendation. I would honestly put him into breath and strength. So right here, kendo strength, kendo strength two, or kendo agility, kendo agility two, and breath. So these are the two things I recommend when you guys are getting skill points in final selection, just put it in there and it's gonna help you kill demons way quicker. So now that you've uh, TP'd here, after you finish final selection, what you wanna do is you wanna head over over here. And if you wanna sell your demon horns, you can do it over here, but I highly recommend holding on to them for uh, future stuff. Talk to this man and he will basically give you your slayer nitrin so right here you say you want to forge an item and then he will give you a menu so right here you can do slayer nitrin and it costs one rusty nitrin which you already have and 20 sun or which is given to you after you finish final selection so just forge it and you'll have your own slayer nitrin so that there's a bunch of colors for them and also there's these swords um basically they require sun ore which you go around mines to mine and um the regular slayer nitrin right here and crystal essence which you need to kill the crystal boss for but that's a lot of end game stuff and that's not part of the beginner's guide so guns not part of the beginner's guide and uh, crystal key not part of the beginner's guide but for now right here you can talk to this girl for 3,000 yen and you can change the color of your blade so um i'm not gonna do that because hey i mean my blade it, even though it's pink i'm not trying to spend 3,000 yen because that's pretty expensive so after you've done that you can come here you can grab heyori if you'd like i don't think it gives any buffs but um yeah after you've done all this you should be pretty set oh yeah i almost forgot um i'm gonna show you guys the uh the game passes so right here we have the rengoku cape let's equip this and we got the nezuko box let's equip these stuff so what you want to do is just equip it to either i guess z or x so you can just click z and then this is the rengoku cape looks pretty cool if you're a flame breather not on me because i'm a mist breather but that's uh, i guess it is what it is so x is the box let me actually take off this this is the box pretty nice pretty nice pretty nifty and um next let's move on to something else so let's move on to let's move on to the sabito mask so let's equip this and iridaki mask boom or urakadaki mask however you say it so that's the sabito mask honestly i think this is the best game pass because this looks really clean really anonymous and next we got the um urakadaki mask so here we go not really my style it looks kind of weird but hey if you're a water breather it may may fit you so that's about it for the game passes and the hair the 20 extra hairs i'm not too sure uh like how i can show you guys but going back into the starter guide after you've done all this stuff and um basically finished uh, all the stuff to prepare you guys can do gore training so over here someone is already gourd training here what you want to do is talk to this man and he'll give you a gourd for 500 yen so basically uh say yes i want to give it a try and he will sell a gourd for you for 500 yen and when you use the gourd you're going to equip it to z or x again just like the cosmetics and then um, when you use it basically it's going to be a little mini game where you want to try to um keep the pointer in the middle and just try to keep it for as long as possible and you'll basically level up and there's 10 levels or yeah 10 levels that you need to rank up um in order to get max constant breathing which i have right now so as you can see when i breathe my breathing doesn't go down and that's constant breathing that's when you know it's constant breathing um and yeah just keep training your gourds it's pretty expensive 5,000 yen and um yeah so once you've done all that stuff which would take you guys a little bit um now we're gonna move on to the crow quest so the crow quest right here you basically toggle your crow on and your crow will come you know pretty frequently and give you quests i recommend doing all the quests because you're gonna need gold anyways um for what is it called for crystal keys and your sword and stuff all that crafting over there that i showed earlier you're gonna need a lot of yen so i recommend just doing all the quests and just you know trying your best to um do as much as you can so you guys can level up and once you get bored that's my rule of thumb once you get bored from farming the crow quest um go go do a kuro so what you want to do is go back to the lady in the starter town and and she will basically give you a quest to do a kuro which is a like big boss and um i'll have a link on the top right corner of how to cheese it and how to kill it really easily and after that you want to head over 
to a slayer corpse right here where i am and um this is where you're gonna be continuing your quest because that's where it ends off for the lady the lady the lady's quest ends off at akuro so you want to head over here and talk to this man over here i forgot his name but he's uh, oh yeah obu yashiki talk to this guy and he will basically continue your quest you're gonna have a quest to kill some demons he's gonna tp you to like a mission and then the next quest is gonna be killing rui which is the string uh, lower moon so that is about it that is about it for the starter guide after you've done all this stuff you should be pretty set and um the skill i guess the skill um the skill tree honestly i recommend just exploring what you like but of course you got to get some strong points into sword and some strong points into breath and definitely of course try to get um what do you call it double jump dash feather fall and just try to get some hp too so that's about it for the starter guide hope this was helpful hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did of course be sure to like and subscribe and peace out